Hey guys, Dave here from Easy Country Cooking and Cooking Share. Well, again, I'm looking for a really simple recipe. I got looking in the fridge and I found some tomatoes, a jar of tomatoes, some ground beef, and a bell pepper. Went to the cupboard and I found some bow tie pasta. And I decided to put together a dish I called Poor Husband's Ground Beef Pasta. Put it together in 30 minutes. Really cheap and easy to make. And you know what? You are going to love it. So let me show you how to do it. Okay guys, first thing we're gonna do is salt up some water to make it nice like the Mediterranean. Then I'm gonna throw in a cup and a half of bow tie pasta. Now guys, you don't have to use bow tie pasta. You can use any pasta you want. I just kinda like the bow tie because it looks all fancy fancy. So we're gonna let this cook away for about, oh, I don't know, 10 or, yeah, about 10 minutes until it's al dente. Okay guys, while the pasta's burling away there, I'm gonna throw about a pound of medium ground beef into a pan. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of break this up a little bit. Now, I asked in our last shipwreck video about the, the cost of ground beef, and it was pretty well consistent. Like, I did find this at Walmart for five bucks, but it was pretty well consistent, you know, five, six bucks a pound, and now it's Australia, New Zealand, all over the States. Still, it's too high to me, but, you know, you can let me know, blip and blop in the comment section below. We're just gonna fry this up, guys, for a few minutes, just until it kind of browns up nicely. Now, while the beef is browning up, I'm gonna chop up a smid, small red bell pepper. And this is fresh from the garden. And I don't think it's fully developed or fully ripened into a red bell pepper yet. Let's get in there. Now guys, some people keep saying there, I'm not going to drain that grease up. Yes, I am going to grab up a spoon here and just get rid of some of this grease. Not too much. You want a little bit left in there, but just some. Okay, now our pasta is done, guys. I'm just going to bring this up and we'll set this aside. Okay guys, now our beef is nicely browned up. I'm just going to move everything to one side here. And I'm going in with small chopped onion, three cloves of chopped garlic, and of course our bell pepper that we chopped up. Now we'll just stir and saute this until that wonderful aroma of garlic and onion fill the air. And that bell pepper begins to soften a little bit. Oh, this is smelling so good, my friends. That's it, cooking. Alrighty, it's been a couple of minutes. I think we're pretty well sauteed out, so I'm going to mix everything together. Oh, oh, it is coming along now. Now, guys, we are going in with 14 ounces of diced tomatoes fresh from the garden. And to this, I'm going to add half a cup of beef. Just for that beefy flavor of that. Now I'm going to season things up with about a teaspoon of salt. And of course, some ground black pepper and a teaspoon or two of that, because I just love my pepper. And a couple of teaspoons of, yes, you guessed it, Italian seasoning. I use this, as you know, for just about everything. Now, of course, guys, I'm just going to give everything a stir around, but this is looking so good, isn't it? And as I mentioned, guys, yes, those tomatoes are fresh from the garden, and they were so good. You know, I just I just boiled them up, took the skins off, and put them in the jars, and, and sealed the jars up. Did a bit of canning. If you want a video on that, just let me know. And also, my hat, the dog father. Mentioned that in the last video, and I also still have my hat. Make Canada great again. But I'm thinking about getting another another hat, make cooking great again. Make a nice fancy cook and share logo on the make cooking great again. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. But I'm going to have one make up, made up. I think that'd be kind of a cool hat. Anyway, guys, we're just going to let this simmer away for, I say, about 8 or 10 minutes over medium heat. After about 8 or 10 minutes, guys, we are looking and smelling incredibly good. So now we're going in with that pasta that we set aside. Oh, uh, wow. We're just going to get this a swirly twirly around so that 
pasta is covered with the sauce. And last but not least, I'm going over the top with some old sharp cheddar, the orange stuff, and then some extra old sharp cheddar. This is my fam Dave's famous combination of cheeses, old and extra old. Now reduce the heat to low, slip a lid on, and just let that cheese melt down for a couple of minutes. After a couple of minutes, guys, that cheese has melted down, and we is pretty much done. Wasn't that simple and never so easy. Now, my friends, I'm gonna scoop this up and just look at this. And onto a plate we go. Wow. Now, of course, guys, we're gonna garnish this up with some parsley again, fresh from the garden. Get that green effect. And there you have it, guys, our poor husbands, poor wives, our poor people. Ground beef pasta. So easy and delicious. All right, guys, let's dig in here and see what we can get. get some ground beef, some pasta, maybe some more pasta with that cheese on it. Oh, oh just look at this. Okay, time for the old taste test. Mm. You know what? For a simple and easy dish, it's incredibly good. Even even the, the seasoning, the pasta, the ground beef, the cheese is incredible on the top. It's kind of like a goulash. I shouldn't say one of Dave's thousand goulashes. Mm. It is so good. you got to make this. And if you do, leave us a comment because I love to read them. Give us a like. It helps the channel out. And most of all, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe. And, of course... I'm going to have more of that poor husband's ground beef pasta. So good.